here, AT4 that I've made out of PVC pipe. Back end is a 3 to 4 inch reducer. You then have 3 inch piping, comes into a 3 inch coupler, or coupling I think. I've cut it up to space it apart and put hold together the other 3 inch part right here. This is a 3 inch coupling. You have the shop duster part here as a trigger. This is safety. I mean the easiest thing because you cannot push this button down when it has air in it really. You have it all hooked together with a hose right there. Comes into one fourth inch something or other. Comes down, goes down to a fourth inch. Screw the fourth inch into the sprinkler valve. I've packed this entire thing in foam to hold it still and make it rattle. This entire thing is ran off of a 2 inch by 1 foot long piece PVC pipe. It has a quick disconnect part on it. The actual inner barrel, as you can see, is a 1 inch barrel. It has a half or a 1 inch coupling on it that I've drilled out to make it look vented. And the vents actually do have a purpose here. They take away the gas from the ball because otherwise you're going to have more noise than you would this way. And this actually takes it away because like usually there's recoil on this thing and this takes away the recoil. Going down from the parts list on this thing, you have one inch plug, I mean sorry, two inch plug, two inch coupling, two inch pipe, two inch coupling, two to one inch reducer inside that coupling. And then you're going to have a piece of one inch pipe that's going to be about this long. They put in here, put into the one inch reducer, uh, to the one inch reducer. And then you take a one inch male adapter and put it on top of that. You'll te Teflon tape it. You'll screw it into your sprinkler valve. And your sprinkler valve, you'll have a one inch male adapter attached to one inch PVC pipe attached to the one inch coupling that you've drilled out and vented. To air this thing up, I have an air bubble that I've already charged with air. I put on a pressure gauge that has the regulating abilities. I can change it down, up, and for this purpose we're going to use 60 psi. I really suggest never using more than 60 psi as it becomes very lethal at that point. Air it up. I've made a Schrader valve attachment for the quick disconnect. It's Schrader valve, one fourth to half, no, one eighth to one fourth inch here, and then a one fourth inch nib, I think. You'll put it in there. This is not as easy as one hand as I thought. Okay, got it on there and everything. You come over here, still sitting at 60 psi. Just take your little hose, bring it over here, and you will air it up. Now you don't have to, but I just suggest doing it. Take your little Schrader valve, pop it off. That way you don't have to worry about losing it or having it hit the ground or something, because now, as in case you can't see, there's nothing sticking out so you can actually set it down on this part, which I like to do because this is a very long gun. You then take your rubber ball, which is your ammo, drop it right there, take your pipe to shove it down in there, get down in there, you'll take it, arm it, lift it up. shoulder it and remember this is 60 psi it's covered about 100 foot before it ground thank you for your time and that once again was the AT4 that I've made up PC pipe